I am here with uh, the lovely MUA, the MUA, if you will, <laughs> at Liz underscore Diaz. 31. 31. I'll put it here anyway, so you guys can go check her out. But yes, I'd asked her if she could please come and do my makeup. We're gonna go for side inspired yes. theme somewhere we're on there, you know. Oh, okay, we're yes. going bold. Ooh. We know, we know we love you for your classic, soft, pretty looks. Yeah, but my basic looks. I'm not here for no reason, okay? You can do a soft look yourself, so I definitely want to go a little bold. Exactly, little exactly. So I'm like letting her have like all the control and we'll see what she does. Yeah, Woo! I'm excited, honestly, because I feel like I haven't really played with color in a minute and it's going to be fun. I'm going right. to start off with doing your brows. This is my favorite part, okay. honestly. I like to just start by gelling them up a little bit. You do your base first, right? I like to. I mean, and it, I guess I can get away with it because I do only do like brown. Do you like to do the eyes first always? I really do. Even when I'm doing like clients, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people love to do like their base first. Sometimes I change my mind or I try something and I feel like, you know what, if I don't like it or if anything just doesn't go right, I can always just take off that look. And it's so annoying when you have everything going right and then you have to take it off. Yeah, I've done that to uh, a client too, where I fucked up their eyeshadow and I was like, I'm gonna go with the white base since I'm gonna be playing the color. Oh, the white base. You turn me into a drag queen. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I, I tried it kind of once before. I think I was 18 in my room by myself and it was bad. Like I didn't like that. That was me kind of playing with makeup before I actually took it seriously. But I, I just wanted to like glue my eyebrows down. Speaking of summer, do you have any plans for the summer? Um, no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm such a boring bitch. There are people who are like, let's go out, let's do this. And then I'm kind of like, you know what, maybe. And sometimes I am inclined to like go, but I'm like, I could be, I should be doing this. Like, what am I doing? Like going out doing this when I should be working on this. And then that's not also healthy. I know that's not healthy. You have to have a healthy balance. You know, you're young and mm -hmm. you have a right to have fun and you shouldn't feel guilty whenever you are having fun. Sometimes when you're such a hard worker and you're not working because you're so used to it, you almost feel guilty, like, oh, yeah. um, I could have been working. Exactly, I'm like, I could be doing this that like I've been putting off because I'm doing something else. And then it's like, oh, okay, but you wanna like go out and do this and do that, and that's not the best investment of my time, but maybe it's, you know, it good for you your- It helps you get your um, creative flow going. Yeah, definitely. That's how I see it. I'm like, you know what, sometimes I need some creativity. Let me go out. What is your, um, your drink of choice? I would say cognac, I love some Hennessy. She's yeah. a Hennessy girl. <laughs> People don't like Hennessy no more. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm like, y'all can y'all can stay with that. I'm then 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 what are people liking right now? I feel like people want to be bougie. They want to drink different stuff because I feel like Ooh. people don't like um Hennessy like that no more. And I can't go wrong with Hennessy. I feel like I'm more of a tequila type of guy. Almost any type of tequila, that or maybe like a rum. A lot of people love Bucana. The pineapple one is pretty good. Really? I, I don't mind it. I actually oh, don't mind it. Unpopular opinion. I don't like it. Really? No, it tastes like cough syrup. <laughs> I'm done. I, I like it. I don't have a problem with it. I've drank it a few times and I almost felt like I didn't even need a chaser with it. The thing about me is that I like my drinks to be sweet because like I'm like juice? 12 years old. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, like juice? <laughs> yeah, like juice. I just drink some. <laughs> I like mine to burn my chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, you, you, you like liquor, liquor. I'm more like, I want to drink like this sweet ass thing and for it to hit like liquor. I'm honestly not drinking you like are. the past year and a half maybe or half a year or whatever the fuck. Yanni me la gana. Not even that I drink a lot before but before I would just be like you know at a party or at an event or like whatever and it's like oh okay time to drink and then Ooh, low key yeah. I would kind of drink a little fast <laughs> I I think the thing I hated most was feeling like crudo in the morning oh well you were drinking fast so. Yeah, you're right. And that's the thing where it's like, bitch, like, drink at a normal pace and you might not feel as bad. <laughs> Honestly, though, like, I'm sorry to break it too. You're sweet. like, yeah, sweetie, that, that's where you went wrong. Because I'm not going to lie, también, yo, like, sometimes there'll be moments where I would literally just be, how fast can I get fucked up? Yes, yeah. Three shots? Four shots? I yeah. don't know. We better to find out, though. I think that's and like... That's not a good start. No, no, it's not. Is it like, is that how everyone starts? I think so. I think you it's think? just fun. Like, yeah. You're, you're, like, you're not used to it and you kind of want to test mm -hmm. yourself but i think once you start getting more into like i'm not drinking for to get fucked up i'm drinking for fun yeah mm -hmm. i feel like when you first start it's like i want to get fucked up yeah like what this, this new feeling yeah, yeah this new feeling i want more yeah <gasps> Maybe that's are what we, it is. Are we doing, are we realizing I'm doing live discovery right Yeah, now? we're doing. <laughs> have people like not liked the final look? Yes. Yeah, oh my yes. God, how did you handle that? You can tell by their face. They, some of them try to be nice, like, uh, 
uh, oh my god. You know, the other time where they're like, oh, that's not what I wanted. I would like cry. <laughs> I'd be like, take your money. I can tell me again. <laughs> So there was this young girl who showed me a TikTok and in the TikTok, oh. the girl had very chunky glitter uh -huh. and that's what I was going off on. So whenever we did the look, she was like, I wanted like loose, like like a liquid glitter. She wanted just like that metallic, pretty look, like loose uh -huh. look. I just, I can tell she was like kind of frustrated, very like upset over that. And I was like, okay, well, let me just try a different glitter and let me know what you think about it. Cause we can just change it to this. Like it's not a big deal to me, you know? Mm -hmm. And then she was just like, that's what I want. I'm like yeah, I you know I didn't realize that's what you wanted because from the TikTok video it was something completely else. And she was like yeah, but it didn't look like that in the app, like in the final mm -hmm. result. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, like camera and real life are different. Yes, and also like people who don't know makeup, they'll see a photo and they're like I want this, but they don't actually know what that looks like in real life. And then you give them a mirror, you do it and give them a mirror, and then they're like so shook. They're like this is not what I wanted. This is not. So it's like you're it not, is. you don't have the same face, the same eye, exactly. the same any of that. That. The eye shape. Honestly, it's always been to the point where it was fixable. There was one time, mm -hmm. this is not a, a fake story. I was doing a client's makeup and there was someone else who was also working on hair. And oh, while I was okay. doing their makeup, I was doing the eyeliner. And if you know anything about makeup, you know that that shit's the hardest fucking part. Mm -hmm. Trying to get some eyeliner to be <laughs> even and all that. I'm like, okay, trying to be careful. And she starts tickling her while I'm doing her fucking liner. <laughs> And I'm like, bitch, why are you tickling my client while I'm trying to do fucking liner? You gotta be kidding me. Like, I fucked up her liner, of course. I ended up giving her, like, a really bold-ass liner and putting in some big-ass lashes. That was, like, the best way I could have fixed it. Because it was black liner. Like, yeah. We're, we're in a pickle. <laughs> I'm gonna be going through it. I'm Tough gonna... problem solving. So I was like, you know what, bitch? Why would you even tickle her? Like, I'm not kidding. That shit pissed me off. I was like, fucking bitch. Why would you do that to me, ho? Dating apps don't work. For me. Okay, because so, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, okay. you're, you're, wait, you're good. You're, wait, no. we're there. So with yeah. dating apps, are you honest on what you want on dating apps? Before, like maybe three years ago, I don't think I was. Like, oh, I want a relationship, I want a boyfriend because it was something I never had. But at the same time, like I didn't realize then that bitch, like you have so much shit to work on. Do you really want a relationship? Like, can you really do that? And then something that I realized that I was doing is like self-sabotage. You almost feel like you don't deserve it. That's how I felt. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I don't, I don't feel that anymore. Like with dating apps right now, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm actually like, I don't, I'm not looking for anything because right now I can't even like, I don't have time for myself. How the fuck am I gonna give the time I don't have to like another fucking man? But I'm not like how it was before, to where I Loki was kind of looking someone to save me. Oh my and god. And that I didn't realize then because I was fucking 18, 19. Like I had never dated. I had never even like talked to anyone. Like no one had ever talked to me because I was just so sheltered. Sheltered so like this in high school, like so in the closet but also like shut off to everything it's not about you liking them it's about or i mean them liking you it's more about you liking them that's the one thing that you really gotta kind of work on sometimes it's so easy to find someone and think like you're so attractive damn like you're fucking cute you mm -hmm. know you get to know that pretty face or that handsome face whatever mm -hmm. and it's like you're not what i thought you were at all and that's when it hurt really bad because it's like you made this whole fantasy up in your head of like yeah he's gonna rescue me we're gonna fall in yes. love <laughs> he feels what I, and the whole time it's like, you're a whore. <laughs> you're, you're a dirty dick fucking whore. I hate you. The whole time he was talking to like three other viejas. You know the worst part when you be really over here trying to brag, my man, my man, my man. Oh, that's, Bitch. dude, that's the worst. Because yeah, the, it feels like the whole fucking city knows about what the fuck your man's doing except you. And, and you feel like the biggest fucking clown. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I am ready to be out in the scene. Like, I don't want to hold back. I don't, I'm mm -hmm. not afraid of love. I'm not rushing for love. I'm not afraid of it. Like, honestly. Honestly, I feel like if you think you're a real one and you want to impress me, I want to see you try. So, like, apply pressure and if, if you apply it right, maybe something can happen. But if it maybe doesn't... Maybe these, these legs might ah! open a little bit. <laughs> Love. Ah! <laughs> no, I feel you. Like, yeah, I, I think that's, men that's the healthiest mentality to have. I mean, bitch, like, I was so young and I was, you know, so hopeless, helpless. You, you need fantasize. to love yourself like, first. Like, you really believe, like, yeah. like you said. And, like, the saddest part for me when I when I fantasized about these men was that I blamed myself mm -hmm. for not working out. Even though I'm the only one who fantasized, I was the only mm -hmm. one who was sitting here making all these damn plans. Yeah. Here I am, like, it's it's you. You're not worth it. Yeah, you you're suck. not good enough. Yeah, you're, and it's like... You're, you're, you're missing this at the other 
another bitch like has and, and you it's don't. like some people they're just not ready for you and that's okay you have to also realize that that's okay mm -hmm. that was something that was hard for me at first was literally accepting the fact that it's not you some people they're just not ready for you sometimes you also fail to realize that maybe you put a lot of pressure on someone who wasn't even ready or also someone who like maybe wasn't even that into you i did that oh my god that was so you embarrassing right there ben, you just said it for me uh, that was so humiliating because i thought that this guy was like i thought he was so fucking attractive dude he literally checked out like i mean like the physical is not you know the most important right but the physical is like what attracts you first and that's what attracted me first was him physically and i'm like dude like you checked out everything and then like got to talk to him got to know him a little bit and oh my god the worst fucking piece of shit ever and the worst part was that like i kind of was putting that to the side and being like well maybe maybe no no it's maybe no it's the people around him that are making him act like that or making excuses mm -hmm. for him. no he's a piece of shit your intuition your gut already told you that and you saying oh that it's God. not like that that's the biggest betrayal you can do to yourself you're just wasting your own time you know the worst part when you do that you knew you were right the entire time mm -hmm. and like your intuition was like you just want to get hurt don't you girl because mm -hmm. i'm telling you right now and it ain't gonna end pretty and here's your delusional self like no i'm gonna make it right i can fix mm -hmm. it i blamed myself and i couldn't fix these people but i realized they didn't want to be fixed they never even G saw the problem oh, that's another one i feel like i see that a lot with girls and straight guys to where these men like they have mommy issues and you're just like oh my god i can fucking help you like if i can help you do this i can help you do that like i i see what how i can help you and these men are kind of like just help me without me loving you like they want something from you but you trying to make them a better person you trying to help them with their life no they're not interested in that like At they all. couldn't care less like they're like no that's thanks for preaching you're annoying yeah, the fuck out of me can exactly. you just bend over exactly you know something mm -hmm. and it hurts my own feelings but that's a lot of it you don't yeah. have self-love you're okay with it and you know no like it should not be like this but you're making it okay because you're trying to like keep that person once you tell me straight up like hey like this is who i am and i can't i can't be what you need me to be i believe you bitch mm -hmm. i ain't gonna try to change you no more mm -hmm. i've been that person oh i can i can do this i can fix them you ain't no i will i have patience and i will work on things we can grow together and change and become better versions of ourselves all day long but for you to lie to me play me cheat on me i'm not doing that but have you tried dating apps you see I tried once getting on um, a like little dating site and it was called like uh, Plenty of Fish or something. Yeah. Oh wait, but like that's like a site. Yeah. I feel like it's like with sites, there's like less people, no? And I feel like there's more people on apps, no? I don't know, that sounds like maybe I did it wrong. <laughs> So what happened on the site? Boring, like nothing. I'm telling you, like no one, like no one was either. Like I was not active. I was, like I said, like whenever people were actually trying to like message you on it, it was like let's let's meet behind Seven Eleven. <laughs> Sweetie. Wait. What? Sweetie. Yeah. I don't know where, what I was thinking, but I'm telling you, like you were on like nalgasforsale.com. <laughs> I just got off of it. I was on it for like two and a half days. And then the morning of like my third day, I was like, we've had enough. Okay, I'm, can I be completely honest? I yeah. almost felt a little bit of a loser. Like you really have to go here. You can't. Ah, uh, gotcha. You can't like go downtown and smile and flip your hair a little bit. <laughs> If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe in your dream, if you, it sounds so cliche, but if you don't believe, it's not going to fucking happen. It's not. It's fucking not because you're going to get in your way every damn time. You're going to self-sabotage every damn time. And even though like, I've kind of like, like that clicked in my head and now I'm kind of like, you know what? Like, you, like, like you've got this. There's still like, you get to that point where I'm just kind of like, oh my God, wait, I'm thinking like negatively or I'm, I'm about to like self-sabotage. I'm kind of getting You can there. already feel you it. You know, you can feel it and you're just like, whoa, whoa, pause. I'm you need to rewire your brain. Yeah. You need to re rewire why are you in? You're like, I do believe in myself. Like, I do deserve this. And it's not easy because I can just be like, I believe in myself now. But it's like an everyday thing, an everyday choice. Okay, okay. now I will zoom in. Do, yeah, now I'm gonna zoom in. <laughs> now that you guys, oh, I guess I should get closer. <gasps> Oh my god. Wow. You <laughs> see, I couldn't do something like this. The blending. First of all, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Do I'm broke ass mirror. <laughs> it's okay. She said, I understood the assignment. I low key want to add one down here to like make it Ooh. finish it. But yeah, wait, going back to what I was saying about like dreams and stuff, that's like really cool. I, I know you're gonna do that. Like, I really hope. trust me, like if you want it bad enough, you're gonna find a fucking way. And like, honestly, it starts like by doing things like this you know meeting mm -hmm. people talking to people yeah and getting to just be around other people's ideas and what mm -hmm. they think and their creative flow i love to learn from people not everyone's gonna think what you think not everyone's gonna like what you like not everyone's True. gonna have the same technique as you if you really are about the makeup you're gonna take something you're gonna learn something
interesting, you know? It's also like about doing the hard work. Cause there are people who are like, I wanna be famous. I want this, I want that. I want a business like this. But they don't, don't want to do work. that every day. Yeah, they don't want to work. They don't want to do that every day. They don't want to like, I want to have a salon. Then they don't want to get clients or they get like pissed off when they get a client or you know, or they don't want to deal with like the everyday nuances. Well, damn, sometimes they're not going to like it or sometimes it's going to be slow. Sometimes it's going to be, you know? You I have guess, to be able to handle it. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, okay. That's cute. It really brings it all together. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving pride. It's giving, uh, fuck what people think. <laughs> <laughs> we went out. We went full. We Period. did it all. Follow her if you're uh, in the Brady. Bradenton, Tampa, Sarasota. How far do you travel? Anywhere, baby. Anywhere. 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 Just pay for the, the pay, pay for the flight, bitch. Yes. Pay for the flight and she will go to anywhere. <laughs>conclude our video thank you so much to liz who came on and did my makeup and she blew it out of the fucking water i just said any pride look like as you know and then you do your thing and period she came through three two. videos already yeah we already done two or three videos with liz anyway but like now you know i'm trying to i'm trying to start my youtube channel trying to bring it up you know so Definitely want to bring Liz back for more Maybe looks. Maybe next time I can do my makeup next to you. Yes. Do like simple looks. Yes. Okay. No, next time we're going to do a whole outfit change. Yeah. Oh, I need to get an outfit. At the end, we're going to have a vlog of us drunk at the end of the day because we didn't get ready for no reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> we yeah. want to go out and have yeah. fun still. We still, we need someone to drive. Um, I mean, I, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have someone drive us. But we need to find a man. To drive us. Yes, if you need, if you can be our Uber driver. You yeah, you want to be a Tofed? Uh, yeah, yeah. You'll get paid three ninety nine. I'm just kidding. Plus you can tax. Drive a car. Maybe some small fries at the end of the night. We'll stop small at McDonald's. Fries. Ooh, I hop. Or you see, we'll get you pancakes. Oh yes, we'll get you a yeah. Some there you go. Yeah. But um, to end the video, I forgot we were still filming. Here is her link, and I will also link her stuff below. Yes. You have Instagram, you have yeah. Facebook, or no, just TikTok. Instagram and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok. So if you're local in Florida or anywhere else. Liz will come to you and Period. you know get this Period. beat done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. That was fun. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it.